So here we are, baby, the Arizona Coyotes in the second round. We're looking to make it to the third round, but standing in our way is the Dallas Stars, and they have a little bit of a squad, okay? They don't have much as far as skaters go, right? It's pretty much mid-80s, then it falls off relatively quickly, and then they have uh, this one guy in between the pipes you may have heard of called Jake Ottinger. So that is the setup for this series it's going to be the good offense sometimes elite offense of the arizona coyotes taking on jake ottinger can we beat him or will he win the series for the dallas stars that's pretty much the setup in every dallas Stars series but let's be real it's especially true now because sometimes we allow a pile of goals because of our defensive woes all right first of all that's bars but it's not the kind of bars that you want to have now breakaway early in the series second period of play we're up to nothing and ottinger stops it from becoming three nothing with a decent save not a great start that's uh, that was pretty scary right off rip we were like oh snap this might be a difficult one and the stars are going to get one in the simulation by the way i apologize for the post -com. okay i know i'm more of a live live com kind of guy usually but we're gonna post -com today because i had some major audio issues in the recording of this video that i could not fix and as you know chell auto saves and this is a very important video so um you know just like important penalties sometimes you can't get around them nikita zaisev took one and i got around his defense and we are going to restore the two goal lead with the gamer subs power play goal hey just because it's postcom don't mean i don't plug my gamer subs use code huge baby but speaking of huge what a hit by rupe hints i was I was kind of surprised. Rupe Hintz just dumped me into the goal. Man, I don't know about that. Now we're going to start in the third period still with a two-goal lead. It's 3-1 for the Coyotes. A bit of a broken play off the draw, but it is what it is. Sometimes you're not going to get everything uh, that you want off the first play. It usually results in a dump in, to be honest, but eventually our breakout struggles with our defense uh, come back to bite us in the ass. It's going to be Jason Robertson with an absolute snipperdoodle far side post and in and he is going to bring the dallas stars to within one and we are going to try to score get it back on a power play doesn't work and the stars even the scoring in the simulation now it's three to three it's the third period and we are a little bit pissed because we had opportunities to take hold of this game and we did not huge penalty late from the dallas stars we are going to put some more rubber towards the net this one with a screen ottinger equal to the task a uh, one-timer ottinger again stopping pucks at the point the puck movement we are trying to make great things happen but then our ai decides there will be no spacing today we will just stand in our spots and that is how our power play dies now, our power play may have died, but that does not mean that we stop trying on offense. And by trying on offense, we draw yet another penalty. Nikita Zaitsev going back to the penalty box. He did not like the call, but last time I checked, I'm a superstar and you can't board me, all right? I'm going to get those calls all day, your day. Now, this is a big power play. Obviously, it's the third period and the game's even. So we're hoping for some good stuff. I'm firing that one at the net for a rebound. Doesn't quite work, but the stars, the doofuses they are, they go ahead and they take another penalty it's a five on three in game one of the second round you're not going to get too many gifts like this but jake ottinger is a gift from the heavens to the dallas stars and he's going to shut that entire power play down basically all by himself despite the fact that we had some pretty damn good chances the whole way now the overtime gets underway because we could not find the game winner in regulation which is fun because I like me knowing uh, that somebody is going to score a game winner. It's going to be, you know, they're going to call a game. They're going to shoot the puck. It's going to go in. That's going to be the end. And I'm trying to make it me. I'm going to windmill to the outside. I lose the puck. But bad play by the defense to chase it down. Wrong pursuit angle. I take care of it. And that is W as we take the first game of this series or four to three and we have a one games to nothing lead in the series now game two is not exactly off to a fantastic start in the simulation we are now down two to one as we embark on a second period and it's okay because we're the arizona coyotes and one goal ain't nothing but a thing right it's the dallas stars but i mean we're the coyotes and that's what we do is get offense Except uh, that was a pretty damn good defensive play as I tried to deke around this man. I went for the tween. Tween does not work. 
that scared us a little teeny tiny bit and we are going to get another chance here they cut off their cross crease exceptionally well trust ottinger with a stop and he stops it so i i mean i don't know at this point we're a little bit worried but hey it's fine we still have nearly two whole periods left here to make this happen huge one-timer chance and my stick shatters is this going to be one of those games is it going to be one of those bad luck ridden games that ends up as a l you never know man it could happen because that was one hell of a quality opportunity and sure as hell when you're gonna have a great opportunity like that and not convert the very first thing the opponent does is score on you man and another great save from ottinger keeps me off the score sheet but we're gonna get lucky with a simulation goal and we are now back to within one and i don't know what a one goal game did to clayton keller to make him try all those fancy deeks but he's gonna turn it over because of it just blatantly give it to the stars i'm getting a little ticked off here because turnovers are one thing but eventually they cost us pretty good opportunities like that one and uh that was just not the right time man so we, we don't want that from clayton keller i don't know why we keep feet force feeding him the puck when he's turning pucks over like that he is just he's doing too much right he's doing too much now another turnover causes a massive hit from jamie ben and he goes after our guy in the neutral zone i take another hit from rupe hints on the end wall so i'm like okay this, this game's getting a little physical here but nothing we can't handle excuse me a minute while i take advantage of this screen and we are going to score the, look look at that that's a mean screen by clayton keller after a few bad plays offensively, he's going to completely blind Jake Ottinger. Look at all the net I had to shoot at. If you are a sniper and you don't score that, you gotta you gotta reconsider your line of employment. All right. Now that's gonna be a great save from Nedeljkovic. He's gonna move the puck up to me. We're gonna go up the ice, trying to create a chance. I take a bit too long to shoot this one, but I was waiting for a screen. And Ottinger is now gonna play the puck. It is getting wild here at uh, yeah the freaking university, whatever the hell it's called. And I'm trying to gain the center red line just for a dump in so I can get off, off the ice. And we could not do it. We get absolutely plastered. So lucky for us, Jacob Chikrin is going to step up, win the fight, and proceed to the penalty box with the smoothest transition into the penalty box I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, coach tells me to be careful not to get hit like that. And I tell the entire bench, one of these guys is going to die because I've had it with their physicality. Boom. It is this man as he tries to cut across the middle of the slot. That is not going to happen. Alex Aya follow shoulder to the head. He is going to be out for the rest of this series, maybe even the rest of the playoffs. He's going back to the tunnel is what I'm saying. Now, we were satisfied with that. You know, we, we, we took our body, so we went back to skillfully taking the puck away. Okay, we didn't want to didn't want to confiscate the puck with such aggressiveness. We wanted to be a little bit more efficient about it. And uh, it led to a big neutral zone trap kind of game. I went for a dump in trying to break that style. And Jake Gensel catches me on a very, very awkward play as uh yeah that's not how you want to get hit that's going to be a hip slash maybe even knee injury just every joint in, in that body is just not feeling well we're not going to be able to finish the game the dallas stars are going to win in overtime the first two games needing the extra period to complete in this series and it's tied one to one both of them finishing with a four to three score it is even it is close it is high scoring high octane what a series and what a shame it is for us to be injured. Now, I have followed for me. Not a great trade, I must say. In the very first game after I get injured, these bastards get shut out. I was I was furious. And then they lose another overtime game. So I'm like, please let me get back. Let me play in this series. Sean Ram Jackson, please. We finally get another W. We only need one to force game seven. And I can't play it. Please, guys, force game seven for me. And they do not. That I think it's fairly safe to say that he is not a franchise player. Not a franchise player, according to the Arizona media, even though we won the Art Ross this season. And I couldn't believe it. Not a franchise player because I got injured, bro. The heart and the Ted Lindsay. Uh, what else do you want? What else do you want from me? Oh, yeah, the Rangers won the cup, and they get the second overall pick because LOL. But that sets up the summer. That sets up free agency. 
Are we sticking around with the Coyotes? Are we moving on to a different team? I don't know, but they don't think I'm a franchise player here, apparently. So we'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Sorry about the postcom, but uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. I'm going to be back. Peace.